All right, time to continue my birthday special for myself. And I'm going to be playing Family Feud 2012 for the Nintendo Wii. So let's see how this goes. Rock and roll theme. Here we go. Let's play. This is Leafs Fan 18 speaking for Family Feud. It's time for the show. And now, here's the host of Family Feud, Sparky Whitmore. Of Family Feud. And we know how to play, so let's get into the first round. The board shows the top All right. five answers. We're looking for the top you five answers answer for this question. Charge of the board. Hit the buzzer to answer. Here's Here comes question number question. one. Name a character often found in a fairy tale. Let's hear it. A character often found in a fairy tale. Have an idea? Uh, Prince Charming. It's number four. Is there a better answer? Let's run with a it. A king, okay. Not there. No, it's not there. It's your choice. Do you want to play or pass? Time to wrap this up. I'm going to try Fairy Godmother. Here's the question again. I like that answer. Is that right? Number two. Two goes. No strike so far. We're asking you this. Can you wrap this up? 
we're asking you this. <laughs> Something every superhero needs. Something every superhero needs. Uh, well, they need a cape. I'll take it. It's number two under costume. Let's try. One answer better than that. Let's go with They that. need courage. Well, they, that's what they say. But it's not there. No, oh, it's not on the board. I'll play it. It's your choice. Play or pass. You're going to play. I'll say strength. Here's the question again. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Strength. Show me the answer. Number one. That Under superpowers. No strikes on the board. We're talking about. Uh, they need a hideout. Number six. An alter ego. This is round three. Each answer is worth double. Okay. 
take. Third round, I could possibly get over the 300 point mark with this. Because the points are now doubled. The top five answers are looking, looking for the top five answers. The best answer gives you control of the board. Buzz in first to answer first. We asked 100 people, name a food people eat while watching the Super Bowl. Let's hear it. Food people eat while watching the Super Bowl. Uh, potato chips. Let's check the board. Number one. You have the number one answer. You're in charge. Play or pass. Time to wrap this up. What you playing? Family Feud. I'll repeat the question for you. Hey, the question I'm on is name a food people eat while watching the Super Bowl. I'm gonna say pizza. Sounds good to me. Okay, what about uh, nachos? Number one is chips, and nachos are chips. Uh, wings? Pizza is number two. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll try wings. There are no strikes on the board. Here's the question again. I know I usually like eating wings during the Super Bowl. It's up there, chicken wings. Well done. I know this is more of a beverage, but beer. Uh, Here's the question again. Well, I'll try it. Okay, no, it doesn't seem to be there. Beverages? I'll just try it as that. Is that right? Uh, no. You I was only strike, strike one. A single strike isn't too bad. What can you tell me? Food people eat while watching the Super Bowl. Um, I'll just say sauce. Because salsa is essentially sauce. Where's that answer? No. Okay, so if they steal this, they would take the lead, but only by three points. Yours for the taking. Just give me two answers are left. Let's see if they can get one of them. They are gonna go with Does onion rings. Is onion rings on the survey? It is not. It's not fair. You don't get the points. Two hundred and sixty-nine to nothing. Number three was popcorn. Look at number four. And four was hot dogs. All right, I've got a big lead here going into this next round, so I have a strategy here. I'm gonna let them ring in. And if, and if they don't get one of the answers that's up there, I'll just pass it so that that way I go to fast money. Because on this version, if nobody gets an answer on the board in the face-off, they throw the question out. Okay. The board shows the top, top five, five answers. answers. 
you can take control of the board with the best answer. Buzz in first to answer first. Here's the question. Name something that married women might be sick of doing. Something that married women might be sick of doing? I'm going to let them buzz in. Do you know? They are going to say... Let's run with... Arguing. Well, so much for my strategy, because arguing is up there. Uh, something that married women might be sick of doing. Talking? Uh, Let's go with that. Nope. Nothing on the board. You okay, I have to play this question. So we have to play this question. Play right? or pass. Okay, you pass. They're passing. Let's get going. I'll repeat the question. I'll just pass it to get an automatic three strikes. Uh-oh, that's strike one. One strike on the board. What do you say to this question? Second strike. You're living dangerously with two strikes. Here's the question again. So I've won the game regardless. You can steal all those points just by giving me an answer on the board. Let's add that question one more time. Is that answer on the board? They say housekeeping. And housekeeping is number one. All right, we have our winner. But I've won the game, so it doesn't matter. These answers. What was number two? Number two answer. Cooking. Here's the number three answer. Laundry. Look at number four. Humoring their husband. Show me the Okay. You've got it. Get ready for fast money. Well, off I go to the fast money We're round. Fast money. Now, I'm looking for I get. <laughs> oh, one thing I mentioned at the beginning of the segment: a minimum guarantee of ten thousand dollars just for winning that game. But let's see if I can make it. Let's see if I can add twenty thousand to that in fast money. Your partner answers the surveys. If you have two hundred points or more. You win the fast money round. The clock starts when I read the question. Here we go. A comedian who is good looking. Um, how about... buy just one of, uh, banana. Well, I was actually going to say grapes. One of Bugs Bunny's pals. Daffy. A.K.A. Daffy Duck. A reason why people might suddenly close their car window. A disease kids get a shot to prevent. A uh, flu. Yeah, as you can tell, I won the game. Good job. Okay. Time for the next step. We now, see, another thing I don't really like about this version is that if you pass on a fast money question, they don't go back to it. Right here with me. Okay. This oh, well. is how you can win $20,000. This is how you help the MVP win fast money. You have the last word on these surveys. When this sound plays, <laughs> that means the answer is taken. I'm usually pretty good at not duplicating else. answers with fast money on here. When I read well, the question, they, didn't they show you how I passed the first sound? No, they don't show you until after both people answer the questions. Comedian who is good looking. It's 
not on here. A fruit you never buy just one of bananas. Banana? One of Bugs Bunny's pals. Porky. Porky's the pig, right? Reason why people might suddenly close their car window. Bugs. Mm, bug. Disease kids get a shot to prevent. Um, hepatitis. Oh, hepatitis, okay. Alright, let's see how I get. Now this is where we add up the points. In the first survey, okay, the first comedian is good looking. Was... First one I passed, so first obviously survey, it's worth it. nothing. The second answer. Second one was Dane Cook. Survey Our said. Survey said. Nothing. Well, there's still four questions the left. Second question. A we food you never buy, it. just one of. Grapes. Survey said. The survey said. That's the top. Forty-four answer. and grapes was number one. The second no, 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 stick around. Was... Alright, banana. Twelve. Alright, I'm up to fifty-six. We asked. One of Bugs Bunny's pals. Daffy Duck. Survey said. Fifty-eight. Well done. And that was number one, by the way. I got 114. Porky Pig was the next one. Survey said. Six only. So that takes you up to 120, 80 points away. A reason why people might suddenly close their car window. First one we said rain. Survey said. Our survey says that's the top. Sixty-seven, and that was number one. Then we said bugs. Survey said nothing. Only 13 points away. I think we've got a shot. Question number A disease five. kids get a shot to prevent. The answer was... The flu. Survey said... Our survey said... Eight only. The second answer was... Okay, hepatitis. And now, I'm going to build the suspense here. If five people said hepatitis, it's 20 grand. What did the survey say? Oh! Only. You have the point. So close. Oh man. No. What? Oh man. So close. Oh well. <sighs> See you for well probably be the final segment.